shoot recurve before you change to the compound bow. Yes, I've been switching back and forth with the recurve and compound for. Which you, you obviously, some I years. guess now you're going to say you prefer the compound, but um, <laughs> it certainly is a, a, a very different kind of bow, a very much more, uh, perhaps a purist bow than recurve, isn't it? Perhaps you could explain the difference between yeah. the two. The main difference is that with a recurve, you're holding the string with your fingers, and with a compound, you have a release aid instead. Um, and you also have, um, yeah, you have more, you have like a, a magnifying glass, so you can aim more, more steady than with a recurve bow. So these guys basically have a, a tough time of it compared to uh, the compound people. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why, as we said before, you know, you do see a slight variation in scores. Here's uh, Michele Francilli, the Italian, who scored uh, a first in his home uh, competition, these four rounds in Varese, 25 points there. Also scored in Dover, enough to get him certainly into the, into the, uh, the four for the Dubai final. And uh, he's a larger than life character. Alan Wills is the other man, the man who looked like he might be getting into the final, but lost out to Juan René Serrano. So this is the bronze uh, medal playoff between these two. Any uh, idea as to who you think you'd like to predict the score here? Uh, uh, it's very hard to tell. Uh, Alan Wills has been shooting really great this whole season, and Michaela has been shooting some really great scores and some not so good score as well, so. He's a bit but up and down, yeah. They're both very capable of shooting really high scores, so I hope for an interesting match. We do as well. Yeah. It's funny, when in the semi-finals we saw so many, I think all the comp, did all the compound go to um, tiebreakers? Yes, all four All matches. four, and that were the first four, and we were yeah. all sort of shaking our heads thinking, surely not, and so far, in the uh, actual finals and the bronze medal playoffs, we haven't had one so far. Perhaps this will yeah. be the first one. Yeah. Usually the semifinals are more intense for the archers because it's, it's so much at stake. So the medal matches are normal, a little bit higher scores and so on. But it's not just the uh, the uh, the money at stake; it's the medals at stake. Yeah. And it's your ranking that's at stake, isn't it? So yes. Yeah. And it's, and it's never fun to lose. So. It's never fun to lose. <laughs> so I'm told. Uh, and it's an eight to start for Alan. Alan had a couple of um, nice. right at the end a really odd. There must have been something wrong with the bow. It was a very low score. That he looked like he was going to win, and then Serrano came yeah. and nicked it at the yeah. end. And the Italian, Michele Frangili, with a perfect 10. And that's the way you want to start, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good way to start. Helicopter going overhead. I think that one might be possibly that's landing at the Burj Al Arab. And that's better from Alan Wills. The man from Braun in... Uh, or at least arching up in Sellafield in the northwest of England. Frangili, the Italian, of course, as well. 31 years old. Alan Wills, a bit younger, at uh, 26. Ooh. Oh, and that's a six. As soon as he uh, let that one go, his arms went up. He didn't like it, did he? No. You could see there who was totally off with the uh, with alignment in that shot. So he tried to save it. <laughs> Not great though from uh, Frangeli either, but it is a three point lead. Yeah. Uh, it's 27 points to 24 in favor of uh, Frangeli. The noise, by the way, the helicopter, that was a helicopter landing on that hotel you see at the end of the uh, target, the Burj Al Arab, it has a helicopter pad. I've been very lucky to actually fly off uh, the helicopter pad of the Burj Al Arab. Yeah. I'm lucky, I'm hasten to say I didn't actually have the money to pay. You can see it in the background on the shot there. The little uh, circular bit at halfway up is uh, the helipad. It's uh, certainly a way to arrive in Dubai. Yeah. Perhaps you could take your $20,000 <laughs> of winnings and <laughs> spend it on that. I don't think so. I think I'll bring the money home with me. <laughs> <laughs> very sensible. It's a very nice hotel, as is yeah. the, uh, the hotel here in the archery complex, some uh, marvellous hotels, right on some pristine beaches here in Dubai, if you're uh, not too busy shooting arrows, as Alan Wills uh, is at the moment. Nine. You get a nine. This is recoverable for the Englishman. Yes. Only a quarter yeah. of the way through this game. Yeah, three points is, is not that much when there are three ends left. Ooh. 
And that's uh, the slip that Wales would have wanted from Frangili. Just one point different now. And uh, it has been noted, Alan Wills, dangerous in a head-to-head -head competition. He has that killer instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Eight is not a killer instinct, though. No. He seems to have some problems with his technique right now. He's not shooting as good as he's usually doing. The temperature is dropping now that uh, the sun has dropped. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Well, hat's the order of the day. Nine. So he Nine. extends his lead. Frangili. Wills needs another ten would be useful. That was a good shot. Nine. Nine. It looks like a... Eight or a nine. I'm looking behind me mm -hmm. at the man with the sight, one of the officials. He's uh, just shrugged at me. That's not much help. Yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> definitely a ten. Yeah. And that is something that must give you great satisfaction when you manage that. Yeah. That's good. good feeling to shoot. Often when the arrows hit like that, then you know that they're going to hit in the center when you release that arrow. Well, oh. Peter Dong Eng Suk is the coach of Alan Wills. A bit of work to be done at the halfway mark because he is uh, four points down. But all you need is one stray arrow, and you're right back in it, aren't you? Sorry? One stray arrow, you're right back in it, aren't you? Yeah. Three good arrows, and he's back in it. Petra Eriksson, alongside me, who uh, earlier on got the gold medal. She's still smiling when I say <laughs> gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I will keep smiling for at least a couple of days. <laughs> Well, you have to congratulate her. And so, a woman who is a champion in compound, but also shoots the recurve. So, good to have her alongside us. And uh, she knows when she sees a good shot. And that wasn't yeah. a bad one. No, that was quite a good one. Good vantage point here, mm -hmm. just behind on the uh, the right-hand side of the arches to see the flight. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Nine. Bad shot, but a good hit. Yeah, well, <laughs> they all count. They all count. And... Uh, it just extends the lead a little bit. 59 to 62. That was good. Exactly what Alan yeah. Wills needed just to claw his way back into this match. He has four arrows left. Frangilli has one extra. And he has 13 seconds in which to release. Well, that will claw a point back. <laughs> Two points the difference. And this is where if Alan can get a 10, that's when you might start to see a tip in the balance here. Yeah. That was a good shot. Oh, mine on the right side. But there were three fairly good shots yep. from him there. Certainly nowhere near the red, the danger red of the yeah. eights. You don't want to be anywhere near that. And here's the big man. Gilo, as his nickname is. Nine. And almost a 10. Just not on the line. Mm -hmm. three so, three hours to go. Two points of difference. And it's still not clear cut, is it? No, it's still a match. Three good shots from Alan, and we can see him changing that match. There's Frangili. First place we mentioned in Varese. He has won almost everything. First onto the scene at the 96 Olympics. Yeah. And um, around here, around the hotel, in the Mad Map, he seems to be a larger-than-life character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he really enjoys himself being out the tournaments like this, and as you said, he's won almost everything that there is to win. Yeah. Alan strikes me as a, a quieter character, a man who likes to think about his archery and uh, needs some time just on his own. I saw him just before the competition got underway, just at a hotel table, just sitting there, staring into space, having a, I guess, yeah. a little think about what to come. Yeah, like when focusing in practice or something. Closer. It looks like that's a nine. Yeah. We'll have to just check for official confirmation. Mm. Frangili, though, as that helicopter Ooh, takes that off in the Burj really Arab. Oh, dear. Ooh. Now, well, Frangili. Now, Alan needs to uh, just keep his focus and just yeah, he scores focus a four. On, on his own oh, and make two good there? shots. He did it in the semi-finals and managed to blow what was a chance for the gold medal. Yeah. Well, a real chance for Alan Wills here. Well, 
Now a three point advantage for Alan Wills. It's turned around in an instant from that terrible shot and if it does come to him getting fourth place, Frangili, it will be down to two shots, basically. Eight. He leant back. As soon as it happened, he leant back. Didn't like it, but eight may be enough. Yeah. Little smile from Alan. He can afford to smile yeah. after that unexpected turnaround. Yeah. Nine. So Alan made it. Yeah. Alan Wills wins. Um. Well, he gets the bronze. He wasn't expecting that with three arrows to go, was no, he? No, that was a strange match. <laughs> Very strange match. And what you, can you just speculate what may have happened to the Italian when he scored the four? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's got a... Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> actually. <laughs> well, yeah, it a, looks very strange when you were shooting. A gold medalist who doesn't know. If yeah. you don't know, nobody <laughs> will. We perhaps <laughs> will have to go and find out from the Italian himself. But it was certainly something Something happened, whether it was a technical or he lost concentration. And that was the second shot in yeah. two matches that has lost him the game. And it's all smiles from the Italian. He's seen it all, been there before. And, uh, well, we have to thank you for standing next to me and giving you the benefit of your expertise. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you both on your gold medal and on your expected delivery in March, I believe, ah, isn't it? Thank so you. <laughs> your young archer to be. Thank you very much. Thanks Congratulations. So. Thank you.